and it's official. It's game of the week, first off. But I got myself a new controller. <laughs> My birthday's tomorrow. Well, I didn't get it, but uh, a, a family member got it for me, <coughs> which I'll take. I needed a new controller, and they heard me complaining and complaining that I needed a new one. Uh, man, oh man, yes. <coughs> yesterday we took an L. Friday we got the W. Today is a Sunday rubber match here in Texas before we head back to Los Angeles to play the Toronto Blue Jays. Feels so good to be knowing that we're headed back home to be in those Dodger Whites. Today's starting pitcher for the Texans, uh, for the Rangers, for the Texans. Uh, Jacob DeGrom, this is 20, 20th start, 7-4, 2.52 ERA, 121 innings pitched. Then see the rest of the stats. Jason Hayward will lead it off, playing right field today for Mookie Betts. Uh, the Betts will have today off so he can play tomorrow grow against the Blue Jays, which personally I think that's a big series for us as well. So I'd love Mookie Betts and James Allman, who is starting in today's game. But uh, Chris Taylor and a lot of the starters to be starting tomorrow. So uh, kind of just uh, a lot of the lineups the same, but besides the outfielders. Oh, also uh, catching today's game for the Dodgers and for Tony Gosselin since it's his start day is Austin Barnes instead of Will Smith. So a little different, but I think we'll be able to work with it and do what we need to do. As the first pitch is going to be fouled from James Altman, the 0-1 from Jacob DeGrom. Man, so this is actually my first game I've played with this new controller. And I low-key forgot how, like, grippy the control sticks are, how, like, the controller feels when it's not, you know, worn out. I've had that PS5 controller since I've had the PS5. It's like a year and a half now, or heck, prob possibly two years, right? I don't, can't really recall, but was it even out two years ago? I don't know. But I've had that PlayStation 5 controller, as that's a strike out two away here in the top half of the first. The Grom looking really strong here. Um, but I've had that PlayStation 5 controller forever. I, uh, I've gone through two PS5 controllers since I've had it. And uh, starting on my third one, which uh, I'm probably going to end up buying a fourth one here soon so I could, or a second one, so I could, you know, rotate controllers and not beat just one up. Why don't we just beat two up at the same time? This one, I promise when I play Madden, I'm not going to throw to the ground. <laughs> the 1-1. One, one. Madden makes every man rage, okay? Also, <coughs> there is some roster news. Bobby Miller is now in the bullpen. Uh, Daniel Hudson is back in Oklahoma City with the Oklahoma City Dodgers after uh, yesterday's L. I uh, I was gonna trade him away, but I thought you know what, let's let's just go make him work in the in the uh, AAA again. And Phil Bickford, I did look at his stats and they look pretty strong. Cause that's a strikeout, good pitch from Jacob Degrom, a one-two-three inning. But. Uh, Phil Bickford's, uh, let's talk about Tony Gosselin really quick. Tony, this is his 17th game. He's 16-0. He has a 1.44 ERA, 119 innings pitched, 4 walks, and 155 strikeouts on the year. And uh, Traveris will lead off uh, the bottom half of the first. Uh, first pitch from Tony Gonson will be a fastball for a strike going one as Barnsey will... Put that in the zone, and the ump will call it a strike. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, the L1 will be hit fouled. As I was saying, uh, Phil Bickford, his numbers have looked very, very strong. And, I mean, I could have called him up, but Bobby Miller has gone from double A to triple A, and he's been absolutely killing it in the minors. So I thought, why not give him, a, give him a shot in the bullpen? Phil Bickford had his shot. Daniel Hudson had his opportunities. And Hud and Hudson, you know, he's been with us all year. You know, uh, Phil Bickford got sent down for Blake Trinan. But I feel like, you know, Daniel Hudson has had big moments. As uh, that would bring up Pablo Martinez hitting 326. Ended his hitting streak Friday night with Walker Buehler through the, through the no-hitter here <coughs> in Texas. Um... I definitely feel like, you know, Daniel Hudson has had a strong year for us, right? 
He's had a few good outings. He's had a few bad outings. And at the end of the day, you know, I, I feel like this is a young man's game right now in this Dodgers ball club. James Altman, Vargas. Um, and I, and I kind of wanted, well, there's not too many young people to away here in the bottom half of the first. And, there, and there's, there's the fair share of veterans, right? But I just feel like adding another rookie, another young talent, instead of having Hudson at this moment is what we need for the Dodgers. And I mean, Walker Buehler's still pretty young. He's had his fair share of time in the MLB, though. So is Julio Arias. He's still pretty young. Uh, Will Smith, he's still pretty young. Mac, uh, no, Max Muntz is like 30. Um, but Vargas, you know, th there's some people on this squad who have had their time in the league. But I, I just feel like for the pitching staff, I, you know, like I said, I, I really like Hudson. But I feel like there's some work to be done in the minors before I feel confident to call him up again. Because, I mean, his last two outings have been absolutely trash and not good. Yesterday, Mookie Betts made a throw home to the plate. 3-2 to Seager will strike him out. And both pitchers will have a 1-2-3 inning here in the first inning. DeGrom and Gonsolin trading punches. This, this is going to be a fun pitching matchup, I think. <coughs> All right, Max Muncy, we lead off the top of the second hitting 307. Um, anyway, man, Hudson has showed us that he's good. He has showed us that he's bad. And also, I feel like I've said it a, a lot of, about our roster. Is There's a lot of pitchers in the bullpen. Almonte, Gratterall, um, Alex Reyes, who get a lot more innings than other pitchers. And Daniel Hudson's one of them. And when I bring Huddy out, I need him to come out where I have the feeling that he's going to shut the inning down and have a really quick inning, you know, and, and his last few innings, he gave up runs, just not look good. So, I mean, <clears throat> the minors is what he's in. I mean, I could be, it could be worse and I could ship him off to a very bad team. Uh, there was one team in mind, but they're in the division. Uh, I, I, I did like the numbers. Well, I didn't like the numbers, but I like the player. His name's Justin Lawrence of the Colorado Rockies. Is that's a walk for Muncie to lead off the top half of the second? Um, Justin Lawrence for the Rockies. His numbers weren't good. Daniel Hudson's numbers were way better. And I think if I would have asked the Rockies to trade for him, I think they would have bitten on the deal just because hey, Daniel Hudson is a really good, you know, he's not a really good pitcher. But his numbers are way better than the guy they, you know, have on their squad in Justin Lawrence. And Lawrence is like a weird submarine sidearm pitcher type deal. And, uh, you know, I was really looking at him to see if, like, I wanted him on the squad. But then again, I was like, man, you can't re really get rid of Daniel Hudson when, you know, he, he hasn't done anything wrong. Just, you know, there's been two starts that, not a start. There's been two uh, two bullpens, or, you know, coming out of the bullpen. There's been two games that he enters, and, and, he, and he's kind of struggled one-on-one and one to David Peralta. <clears throat> so, I feel like there's work to be done. And Justin Lawrence, I would, like I said, I would love to have him. He, you know, one of my favorite Rockies, honestly, one of their best pitchers, actually, in real life. But in the video game, his ERA is like a 6.31. Like if I would have traded for him, it would have looked silly. But I, but I had I, I feel like I had the confidence in Justin Lawrence to come out and pitch really good for the Dodgers. As I'll bring up Austin Barnes hitting 280. First pitch from Degrom hitting to right center field. Muncie's walk will not come around and haunt Degrom. <clears throat> this is gonna be a tough one. All right, uh, Nathaniel Lowe will lead off the uh, bottom half of the second. First pitch, I mean, first pitch, 12-6 inside, ball one. Lowe hitting 258. First pitch, heater, Vargas. One away here in the top half of the second. <clears throat> one away now, we'll bring the Marcus Semien. Hitting 234. First pitch, hit and fouled, 0-1. Tony looking to stay s perfect on the year. First in Cy Young voting right now. This is hitting the right field. That's going to drop. 
probably be a double. Hayward just getting to the ball now, and uh, Simeon will stop at second. So a double with one away here in the bottom half of the second. Tenth double of the year for Simeon. And now that will bring up Garcia hitting 221. But as I was saying, Tony Gonson, the man, trying to stay perfect. He's 16 and 0. And his last start, he pitched all eight innings. Until the top of the ninth, where the Dodgers scored against Edwin Diaz in New York. And we ended up taking that one. With him getting the win. The 2 0 to Garcia, the fastball, 3 0. 3 0, and Brad Miller's on deck. The 3 0 slider, 3 and 1. So like Tony, he's kind of having a hard time with the release point so far in this game. The 3 1 slider again, 3 and 2. 3 2. The payoff heater will strike him out. Looking to away here in the bottom half of the second. Second strikeout for Tony Gonsolin. And now that'll bring up Brad Miller. Hitting 185. First pitch. 12 6. Strike one. Tony on the win column leads the NL in front of Bueller and Arias. A one. Heater. One and one. Yet to receive an L this year or no decision. That's why he's been perfect. Oh two. Splitter. Hit and foul. If that's down the line, the Texans have uh, the Texans. The Rangers have the lead. I don't know why I keep on calling them the Texans. Oh two. Curve. Fouled off. <coughs> oh two. Fastball from Gonsolin. Got him. Then the second inning. And Miller. I mean, not Miller, <coughs> DeGrom and uh, Tony Gonsolin remain. Uh, well, both will keep this game scoreless through the second inning. Gonsolin's hyped about that out. All right, Miguel Vargas will lead off the top half of the third, hitting 286, 15 bombs, 38 RBIs. First pitch from DeGrom. Swung on and missed, looking Var making Vargas look silly. 0-1. That's that nasty DeGrom curve. As that ball will be hammered into left, and this time Vargas will win that swing. He says, You maybe made me look si you maybe made me look silly. You made me look silly. With that last swing, so I'll make you look silly here throwing me that heater. He'll get a base hit. And now that'll bring up Willie Adamas hitting 266. First pitch. Outside ball one. Oh, one to Willie Adamas. The 1-0 -oh from DeGrom. One and one. <clears throat> one one to the Dodger shortstop. The one one pitch from DeGrom. One and two. Good. Heater at 101 inside the hands. Very good pitch. One two to Adamas. Did he go? Nope. Two and two. Staying alive. Two two. The pitch. Got him. To roll over it. One and two. And a double play here in the top half of the third. And now that will bring up Jason Hayward. That's exactly what DeGrom wanted. And it worked. I'll bring up Hayward. He's 0 for 1. First pitch. Hit and foul, though, in one. The old one. Oh, and two. Good slider. Looked outside the zone and then just came in. The O2 from the Grom. Will be inside one and two. One and two. Will be swung on and missed, and that will end the top of the third. What a pitch from Jacob DeGrom. All right. That's going to be tough. All right, that will bring up Ezekiel Duran in 256. First pitch will be a strike going one. 
Oh, one slider. Happy Sunday, by the way. I hope you guys are having a good one. I know uh, tomorrow's going to be pretty fun for me. My 21st birthday will be tomorrow. So that's going to be hit. Adamus will make the play one away here in the top half. I mean, excuse me, bottom half of the third. I'll bring up Jonah Hine. I think I'm excited just to get back to Dodger Stadium. So I keep calling the saying that the Rangers are in the top half of their innings. Excuse me. It's been a while since we've been at Dodger Stadium. Quickly on two to Hine. Go to fastball, the 36th pitch will be popped up. Adamus. Two away here in the bottom half of the third. And now that will bring up Traveris. Well, for one, one for ten in this series for the Rangers. Has, has played in all three ball games. A one. Rockies up 4-0 in Miami. One and one. <clears throat> D-backs up against the Reds. That's a, that's a good sign for the D-backs. They're looking to get a win in that series. I think the one two slider will be hit. Chop the Vargas. Uh, there's no need to dive. I guess I misread it. <coughs> uh, base hit for Traveris. <coughs> and now they'll bring up Pablo Martinez. All for one. There goes the runner. Throw down from Barnes. Will be on time. Ten the third. What a throw from Austin Barnes. Showing off his cannon behind the plate. Especially on a curve. Wow, what a throw. And James Altman will lead off the top of the fourth. He's 0 for 1. DeGrom at 37 pitches. This count pretty excellent for Jacob. <coughs> the first pitch inside ball one, though. Gotta make him work. And, and it's gonna be tough. He's one of the greatest pitchers to ever pitch in the league. The 1-0, one, oh, one and one. Good circle change. And the Cubs are two games back of the Cardinals, man. I don't know what's going on with the St. Louis Cardinals, but it looks like they're kinda they're kinda struggling so far in this second half. The so one two from DeGrom. Will be a strikeout looking good. Slider right there. What a pitch. Fifth K for DeGrom. And now that will bring up Freddie Freeman. He's 0 for 1. With a strikeout. And he's also 3 for 10 in this series. Absolutely wild. First pitch. Ball 1. Friday night it looked like he was going to have a really good series. <coughs> the past two ball games. Well yesterday and so far today. Has not done much. 2-0. Good take right there from Freddie Freeman. 2-0 pitch. Swung on a miss. 2-1. 100. Above the zone. The 2-1 from DeGrom. Two hit in the center. That's in the zone. It would have been 2-2. Two and two. That's a fly out. Two away. Now that designated hitter, Max Muncy. Oh, Max Muncy will lead off the top of the fourth. Walked in his last at bat and turns on this one. But I think he got under it. Yeah, he did. And that will end the top half of the fourth. Garcia will catch it and ruin Max Muncy's hopes of getting a home run. <coughs> All right, Pablo Martinez will lead off the bottom half of the fourth. First pitch, hit. And Freeman will just throw it to Johnson. I wasn't taking it to the... Freeman was... Thought about taking it to the bag himself, but Donson said he'll cover it. One away here in the bottom of the fourth. Uh, bring up Corey Seager, who's 0 for 1. I really wanted the Dodgers to get the lead early in this ball game, where I could, you know, bring out Bobby Miller and show off what he has. But so far right now, it looks like a Gonsolin versus Degrom type of game, because I am not pulling Tony Gonsolin unless I have to. Because Arenado will make the play, will set his feet, throw the first two away. Unless I absolutely have to pull him. Or. He goes all game like he did in New York. And we have the lead as he gives up a home run here. Nathaniel Lowe will get the Rangers on the board. 
And just like that, one swing of the bat has changed this ball game. Man, oh man, not, not the greatest slider in the world. And Lowe got a hold of that one for the Rangers. And now I'll bring up Marcus Semien. First pitch, strike one. I mean, eventually, maybe Tony Gonson's supposed to lose, right? Or not supposed to get that decision. <clears throat> but as he's going perfect, I know I want Walker Buehler to win the Cy Young. Because he's my favorite Dodger pitcher. And there's a little bit of bias there. But at the end of the day, it's all about winning. And and, and Tony Gonsolin, man, if he gets the Cy Young, it's cool. He, he won a Cy Young. So, if, <coughs> if, to, if Tony Gonsolin doesn't remain perfect, I think you got to give Walker Buehler the Cy Young. But if Tony Gonsolin stays perfect and then continues to have the year he's having, where he goes 28 starts, 28 wins, you can't. I mean, can one, one L? Oh, that's going to hit him. Man, we're going to go talk to Gonsolin uh, on that 2-2. Didn't mean to hit him. We're going to go talk to him really quick. My uh, Pryor and Barnsley in the infield will talk. First pitch eater. Foul, though, in one. But that one L, too, would not... I Personally, I don't think it would make Tony Gonsolin not a Cy Young winner. As that's hit down to third, and that will end the fourth. But the Rangers do get a run on the board with a solo shot from Nathaniel Lowe. All right, Owen Arenado will lead off the top half of the fifth. <clears throat> First pitch. Swung on and missed 0-1. One. one hit tonight so far for the Dodgers or today. Afternoon game here in Texas against the Rangers. Not the Texans, the Rangers. 1-1. One, one. one walk and one hit for the Dodgers. <clears throat> now, one hit belongs to Vargas. 1-1 to Arenado. 1-2. 99 at the knees. Comes the 50th pitch from DeGrom. Will be looked at 2-2. Two and two. Good eye from Arenado. I definitely wanted to hack at that one. The 2-2 from DeGrom. Will be swung on and missed one away here in the top half of the fifth. Sixth strikeout. And now that will bring up David Peralta. He struck out in the second. I feel like Peralta would have a good matchup against DeGrom. But I'm probably... Maybe I'm wrong. Ball one inside. <coughs> Peralta's kind of been quiet lately as well. The 1-0. 2-0. It's time to make them work. It, like, I feel like if we don't score in the 5th or the 6th, we're in trouble. 2-0. 2-1. Like, we need Jacob DeGrom to throw some pitches here in the next two innings. And he already has one away here in the top of the 5th. The 2-1. 3-1. And Vargas is... No, Barnes is on deck. 3-1 to the... Uh, D train and that's a walk second walk of the day for the Dodgers And now they'll bring up Austin Barnes. He's 0 for 1 with a fly out Get into Grom's head if you have to That's hitting the right that ball will be Caught from Garcia uh, Peralta will tag the throw from Garcia will not be on time And <clears throat> now we'll the tying run will be at second for Miguel Vargas. He's 4 for 10 in this series. First pitch. And outside ball one with the slider. And Vargas, the rookie, come through here for the Dodgers. The 1 0. Hit into center. That ball's hit a little too hard. And that's going to be caught to end the top half of the fifth. And Jacob DeGrom, once again, <laughs> just gives a walk and. Doesn't get in trouble after the walk. Or, you know, nothing happens after the walk. All right, Brandon Miller will lead off the bottom of the fifth. Oh, for one. 55 pitches through four innings for Tony Gonson. <coughs> kind of uncharacteristic. One away here in the bottom of the fifth. And now that will bring up Ezekiel Duran. <coughs> oh, for one. First pitch either swung on and missed. 0 1. Peter pretty much right down the pipe. 
Gosselin on one splitter hit Vargas. Two away here in the bottom half of the fifth. Two away now they bring up Jonah Hine all from one. First pitch slider low ball one. The 1 0 from Gonson, 68th pitch of the ball game. And 2 0. 2 0. Gonsolin, 2 and 1. And 2 1 now. Another fastball, 2 and 2. 2 2 splitter away from Hine. Will be popped up in the left. David Peralta will get there. And we'll end the fifth inning here in Texas. Dodgers down by one. Strike one to Willie Domus. And the right and for a base hit. Second hit of the game for Willie Adamas. I mean, for the Dodgers. First hit for Willie, but the second hit for the Dodgers. And Adamas is going to try and hype up the Dodgers bench. He knows how much this means for Tony. First pitch. High ball one. <clears throat> New to the squad. Trying to come through. Right there. 1 0. -er. Get the team hyped. 1 0 -er from DeGrom. 2 0. -er. Anything into the gap might score Adamus. This field's huge in Texas. 2 0. 2 0. Hitting the left. That ball is carrying. That ball is back. That ball is going to be caught as the left fielder hits the wall. 1 away here in the top half of the fifth. And, uh,. All Jason Hayward could do is shake his head. Now right, they'll bring up James Altman, Willie Adamas. There he goes, the pitch inside the throw from high and high. And Willie Adamas will be safe. His ace stolen base of the year, just being aggressive. Got to show some aggressiveness at this point. And if James Altman gets a single here, we I think we have a tie ball game. One and one as he swings and misses. All right, maybe being over aggressive. 1-1. One, one. Hit up the middle. That ball's going to drop in front of the center fielder. And we're going to have ourselves a tie ball game here in the top half of the sixth. So just like that, the stolen base and the rookie Jacob. Uh, not Jacob. The rookie Jacob the drop. The rookie James Altman coming through once again for the Dodgers here in this 2023 season. And now that will bring up Freddie Freeman. First pitch to Freddie. There goes the pitch from DeGrom. Popped up. He tried to do the hit and run. And uh, Altman will get back safe to first. And if you're Freddie Freeman, you might be getting to the point that you want to go slam your helmet in the in the helmet rack and grab your bat and hit it all over the... Uh, <clears throat> hit the bat all over the... Helmet rack and just kind of rage in the dugout. But Freddie is calm, cool, and collective like 95% of the time. Oh, they're going to pick off Altman and end the top half of the sixth. But we do tie it. I wanted to steal another base, but they got him. But we do tie it thanks to Altman and his RBI single. What a game to come here on. To come to, ah, what a game to come and watch this Sunday in Texas. You got Jacob DeGrom, who's an absolute animal. You got Tony Gonsolin who's been killing it this year for the Dodgers. And you got two teams that are trying to win this series after yesterday's win from the Rangers, Friday's win from the Dodgers, which was a no-hitter. And today it's kind of who can score next. And and that's kind of how this game's going. Like I said, this is hammered into right center field. Outman will catch it. One away here in the bottom half of the sixth. Good route from James Outman. Really had to get on his high horse. And that will bring up Pablo Martinez. Uh, like, you know, it, well, in this game, you've kind of seen pitchers doing their thing. 
and the hitter's struggling. Uh, Lau, Lowe got a hit, Nathaniel Lowe, that got the Rangers on the board, and now James Altman with his big RBI single. Like, now this game feels like who can hit the ball the hardest and farthest at the moment? I said, that will be a single for <clears throat> Pablo Martinez, and that will bring good speed on the base pass, and now that will bring up Corey Seager. First pitch to Seager, 0 for 2, fastball, ball 1. 70 pitches for Tony Gonsolin. 1-0. 2-0. Oh. 2-0. The slider. 2-1. Good slider right there from Gonsolin. Fans didn't like that call, but it was in the zone. Throw over. Let Martinez know we're watching. 2-1. The fastball, three and one. Low is on deck. Three one. The curve to Seeger. Hit and fouled. Whew. All right, three two to Seeger. Fastball runner will stay put. Will be back to Gonsolin. Throw to second. And throw from Adamas to first. And now will end this is extending a double play with Tony Gonsolin desperately needed. This game's absolutely insane. Like, this, this is wild. All right, Max Muncy will lead off the top of the seventh. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. DeGrom at 69 pitches through six. First pitch will be hit and low. We'll take it to the bag himself. One away here in the top half of the seventh. All right, that'll bring up Arenado. Alrighty, first pitch to uh, yeah. Nolan Arenado will be hit and fouled. Oh, all in one, man. This this is this is a pretty entertaining game. I will say that it's it's been pretty tough. One and one. Ended up having to like pause the game for a second and have an emergency bathroom break. So if you see an e like the clip kind of edited in, that's it. I just I just had to use the restroom. All right, all right. That's gonna be a double. Maybe Nolan Arenado, man. I swear he's so slow. One away here in the top of the seventh. Uh, 21st double of the year, and the Dodgers need to get something going here. What a swing from Arenado. The first curve I think we hit all day. And that's gonna be hitting the left. Come on, Peralta. You gotta crush that, my boy. That's. Uh, Arenado's nothing to test it. All right, they'll bring up Barnes. He's 0 for 2. He fly outs. DeGrom, 74 pitches. First pitch from DeGrom there. Ah, the Austin Barnes will be swung on and missed. <clears throat> All one to Barnesy. Can he come through here? 1-1. One one. DeGrom, 28 balls, 48 strikes, 67 pit. I mean, six, yeah, 76 pitches. Two and one, Barnes. You gotta get hit by that, my guy. You got Miguel Vargas on deck, who's been killing the baseball. The two one, two and two. This is Barnes will foul off that fastball. The two two, Ranger fans are getting into it. The two two will be three and two, and we're gonna have a payoff. And Vargas is just staring at Degrom, hoping he gets another look. I want him to get another look. The payoff. Will be chopped down to third. Miller will make the play. And that will end the top half of the seventh. And they're going to stretch here in Texas. All right, Nathaniel Lowe will lead off the bottom of the seventh. 75 pitches through six innings. For Tony Gonston's first pitch will be a strike, 0 and 1. Nathaniel Lowe hit a slider for a home run in the last at bat, 1 and 1. So don't really picture. Tony going back to that pitch in this AB, but uh, I do want to mention this. The Pirates, man, Rich Hill threw a, his seventh, well, the seventh no-hitter in Pirates history yesterday against the Angels. What a team to throw a no-hitter against. Congrats to Rich Hill for getting his first no-hitter in his career. And uh, 
I would only know that because as a Dodger fan, when he was on the Dodgers, he was close to throwing a no-hitter. In the bottom of the ninth, Josh Harrison took him deep. And the Pirates won that game, and I'll never forget that. And it was such a heartbreaker because I wanted Rich Hill to get that really badly as that's a strikeout two away here in the bottom half of the seventh. Fourth strikeout for Tony Gonsolin. Strikeouts today have been pretty low for Tony compared to Grom. Now they'll bring up Garcia for two. First pitch curve, ball one. 82 pitches for Tony Gonsolin. One and one. I don't think he goes bottom of the ninth if we're tied. I think he has the seventh. Well, this inning in the eighth. Because that pitch count is just getting pretty, pretty high. And I can't make him pitch like 110 pitches. As that's a strikeout. Then the seventh. Man, that was power versus power right there. Tony said, you want a fastball, Garcia? I'll give you one. I'll put it right down the pipe. Good luck. And Garcia missed the 92 mile per hour heater. All right, Dame Dunning is going to come out of the bullpen of 5.65 ERA. And Bruce Bochy has seen enough of DeGrom, which is absolutely wild. And uh, Gonsolin is going to try and out pitch DeGrom. First pitch from Dame Dunning will be fouled 0 and 1. Interesting move right here from the Rangers, man. I, I mean, can <clears throat> I don't know how you pulled the Grom. One and one. Especially how good he's been. 36,850 in attendance. And uh, if you picked any of these videos or any of these games to come to this weekend here in Texas, this is the game to be at. Gosselin, DeGrom, Dodgers, Rangers. It's a very pretty fun one. Two and two to Vargas. The 2-2 from Dunning will be fouled. Staying alive, just getting a piece of it. 2-2. Pitch from Dunning. 3-2, and, and really Adamus is on deck. 3-2 to Vargas. <clears throat> the payoff from Dunning will be chopped down to short. Seeger went away here in the top half of the eighth. And away now they bring up really Adamus. He's 6 or 10 in the series. He's had a really good series. That's going to be popped out into right center field. Two away here in the top of the eighth. Two away now. And I'll bring up Jason Hayward. He's 0 for 3. First pitch from Dunning. Taking the ball 1 0. Good take. They're going to start kind of stretching Bobby Miller in the bullpen. Nothing too crazy for Miller. I want him in this game. 1-0. 1-1. One one. One one. One and 2 so one two. Two and two. The two two from Dunning. Got him. Good slider. All right, Gonsolin. Let's go. Bottom of the eighth. Here we go. Brad Miller will lead it off. 85 pitches for Tony. First pitch heater. Swung on him. Missed. Owen one. One splitter. One and one. That pitch man today has just seemed a little off. We're going to it though. Again, the one one splitter. One and two. I think that was a foul tip. I'm not too sure. One two. Fastball from Gonsman. Two and two. Two two. The slider. From Tony. Three and two. Full count to Miller. And Duran's on deck. 3-2 heater from Gonsolin to Miller will be fouled. We're going to go back to the fastball. 91 pitches for Tony. The 3-2 again will be fouled. Going back to it, man. The leaving in Tony's heater. The 3-2 fastball to Miller will be popped up. Adamus on the move. Willie will not get there. 
Alright, 3 2 12 6. We're gonna change it up. It will be a foul ball. Bro. Right now, Brad Miller's long A B is not what Tony wants. The 3 2 heater popped up again. Arenado will not get there again. 3 2 slider. The 96th pitch will be hand to left. And Brad, Brad Miller will lead this off with a double. This bottom half of the ace. And I'm thinking, man, it's ah, it's a tough decision. But we're going to start warming up. We're going to sit him. No, we're going to go to the bullpen and start warming up. <clears throat> uh, Miller. First pitch heater, strike one. <clears throat> the 0 1 slider, 98th pitch. 0-2. Oh, 0-2. Two. Oh, two. The 99th pitch. The 12-6. Got him. One away here in the bottom of the eighth. Huge strikeout. Sixth strikeout of the day for Tony Gonsolin. And now that will bring up Hine. The first pitch. Splitter. Strike one. Bobby Miller warming. Tony Gonsolin knows that perfect Streak is on the line, 0-2. 0-2 oh, slider. Oh, come on, Blue. You got to give Tony the call. 1-2. Pitch to Hine. Will be a fastball. Got him two away here in the bottom of the eighth. And Barnes was loving that one. Seventh strikeout. And now they'll bring up Traveris. He's one for three. First pitch splitter. Hit in the left. Adamus can't make the play. The runner will go home. The tag will not be on time. Austin Barnes misses the tag. And now Tony Gonsman's in line for the loss. David Peralta, man, you got to make a better throw to Barnes. But Barnes is so close to making the tag. Strike one to Pablo Martinez. Man, Tony gave it all he had, he had in this ballgame. And one rule with Tony Gonsolin, if he's going to lose this winning streak, it's going to be on him in the offense. As that's a strikeout, the ump will give him the call there. I'm, I'm pretty disappointed with that ump's call in that one at bat. Man, Barnes so close. He, uh, I wish he would have got him. And now they're going to bring in Jose Lyric. A 3.34 ERA. And James Altman will greet him. Here we go. I didn't see how many saves he had. First pitch. Will be hammered into center. That ball's carry. That ball is going to be at the wall at the warning track going away here in the top of the ninth. And now that will bring up the cold hitting Freddie Freeman. Man, we might lose the series. The Rangers, man, they came out to play 1 0 to Freddie Freeman. If we lose this game, this is the first series L all year. 1-0. One, oh. one and one. <clears throat> I mean the Rangers, man, they're they're they they're trying to be better than the Strohs. That's a hard thing to do, one and two. And by beating us, that's a huge thing for them. <clears throat> Just a disappointing thing for us. The one two. Two and two. Because if we lose, we you know, we it's it's okay. But we lose our first series of the year as Freddy's going to call time. They win. They're keeping the Strohs off their tail. The 2-2. Two, two. Hit into left center, and that's going to be caught. Two away, and the Dodgers are down to their final out. And Max Muncy will come up. He's over for two with a walk. I can't believe this. First pitch. Will be a ball. Will be a low in the ball, 1 0. Tony gave it everything he had, though. 1 0. 2 0. Muncie with the strong hands right there. 2 0 to Max Muncie. It's 2 and 1. Didn't like that pitch. 2 1 to Max. 3 and 1, and Arenado's on deck. 3-1 to Muncie. Oh, he got under it. 
Man, we have lost the series. Congrats to the Rangers taking this one. And uh, I can't believe it. We lost the series. And you could blame, you could definitely blame the pitching in this one that we lost uh, in this game. I mean, not the, not in this game. I mean, you could blame a few things. I could have pulled Tony Gonsolin. All right, I could have made sure I pulled him, so he doesn't get a decision. I really, I was being greedy, and I wanted him to get the win. Jacob Degrom pitched absolutely amazing. This Dodgers offense struggled, okay? But the fact that I kept extending Tony Gonston's outing and thought I could make him be perfect, it just was unfortunate. At the end of the day, we lost our first series of the year. We play Toronto tomorrow <coughs> on my birthday. It's a fresh start. We get to go home. We, we finally get to be at Dodger Stadium. This road trip... We lost two games. Taking a W on the road. I mean, we felt really good. But the fact that we lost this series is huge to me. Because this is our first series we've lost. We came in with our best pitchers. Yesterday, we had Julio Arias lost. Today, we came in with Tony Gonsolin and lost. Like, these are two games that I feel like we should have won. Walker Buehler, man, he pitched absolutely amazing Friday night. But yesterday, ended up losing because of Daniel Hudson. Not because of Julio. But Daniel Hudson ended up losing the game for us yesterday. And Tony Gonson of the day, you, you, could, you could blame me for that one. Because I extended the outing a little bit too long. The pitch count was high. I should have brought, brought in Bobby Miller. And at the end of the day, I was being greedy with Tony Gonson trying to keep him perfect. Um, very unfortunate we took the L. But it's another learning decision that now I feel more confident knowing that Tony Gonsolin's, I feel a little bit of a, I feel a little bit of like weight coming off my shoulders because now when Tony comes out, I know I can just pitch with him. I don't have to think that, oh man, Tony's pitching, I gotta win, I gotta keep him perfect. And that's what I, I feel like that's what I did a lot in the Mets series, or I mean the last game when we played against the Mets. In this game, I, I really thought that Tony Gonsolin has to remain perfect, don't ruin this, don't ruin it, and, and it ended up kind of biting me in the... Biting me in the back. And, uh, yeah, very unfortunate. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. I'll see you guys tomorrow in L.A. versus the Blue Jays uh, for my 21st birthday. I'll see you all tomorrow.